It's sometimes difficult to correctly dimension some elements because of their relative positions. Now here's an example. I have a single block here, which I'm going to copy from here to here to here at various dimensions. So let's do that first. Element selection tool is on. I'll select the object and I want to copy. Copy. And I want to copy from the center of the block. So I need to turn on the center snap. There's center. Let's make this the active snap. Hold down the shift key, center. And now I can copy this. Automatic center. I want to go in this direction. I am going to hold it about there. My horizontal distance is three feet, so three at the keyboard, and my vertical distance is four feet. So I use the down arrow to move the focus in AccuDraw and enter four. There's my new point. I'll accept that with a data point. And now, because the compass is nicely located, ready for the next move, I'll move in this direction, and my horizontal offset is five feet, so five at the keyboard and down arrow, and the vertical offset is two feet, two at the keyboard. There's my new offset. Left click to accept, right click to stop, and data point to unselect the last block. So there are my three blocks in place. Now, dimensioning this, of course, is relatively straightforward if you want to dimension with the view alignment. So let's try that now. Red color on, zero for the line weight. Center snap is still in place. So we'll pick up that and that, and we'll bring that down to there for the horizontal. Pick up that one for the next horizontal. Let's go vertical, center, to center, drag across, left click, left click, right click. So there are my offsets. I have two sets of horizontal and vertical offsets. Now, if you would halt your video and copy that arrangement, that would be most helpful. But again, please don't draw the dimension lights because they're not the ones we actually want. That's just a setting out. So I will wait until you've done that. So assuming you have the three blocks in place, I'm going to undo my dimensions, which I don't need. And the next set of dimensions have to be on a baseline, which runs from center of this block to the center of that block. So that's the baseline for the dimensions. And of course, the dimensions have to be at right angles to that baseline. And I want to put the dimensions up in this area here. So the question is, which alignment do I need? Obviously, I can't use the view alignment. We've just seen how that works. So what's available? Well, drawing is only useful when you have a rotated view, but you still want to place dimensions in the orientation of the real drawing, not the rotated view. And we have true and we have arbitrary. So we'll try both of those. Let's try true first. So again, I'm placing dimensions. I'm going to move this down a little bit. And we'll start here. Center to that. Center to that. And we'll drag upwards and carry on. Pick up that one and right click. That's a problem because the dimension is true to this block and this block, but it doesn't coincide with this block or with the baseline. The dimensions are clearly not perpendicular to the baseline itself. So that won't do. How about we try the arbitrary and let's change the color so we can see different options here. Let's try it again. Center to center. Now we have to decide where to place the arbitrary dimension since it's essentially a floating dimension. Well, the obvious thing really is that alignment, which is exactly the same, of course, as the true alignment, which again doesn't help us very much. So we need something else which will work better and we'll place those dimensions perpendicular to the baseline. So I'm going to undo those two and try a different tack. There's a couple of ways you can do this. One way is to actually rotate the view. Here's the view rotation tool. And the option is either two points or unrotated. We need two points to start with. 
So my points will be center to center. So now my objects are rotated in line with the baseline. Now I can go and start my dimension tools again. This time I can use view, which is much more predictable. And I can dimension here and there and there. And it's perfect. If I unrotate, unrotated, we now have a perfectly aligned dimension string. There is, of course, another way to do this. So I'm going to undo that dimension and I'll leave the view unrotated. This time I'm going to use true again, but rather than going to each of the three blocks, I'm going to place a dimension from this block to this block. So dimension tool is working. Select that. Select that. Drag upwards to place the dimension. But what we'll do is this. We'll go higher and pop the dimension in place. Now that is now at right angles to that baseline. I'm going to do another one. You'll see why in a second. Same technique, same positions. Place that one there. Okay. Now we need to add the dimension for this block. Well, we've just gone through the insert vertex and delete vertex tools. So let's try those. Let's go to insert vertex. Click on this dimension line and the center of that. And now we have the dimension divided for us. And again, perfectly square and perpendicular to the baseline. So two possible ways of doing that. There are others, but these are the two main. Don't be afraid to rotate a view. It solves a lot of problems sometimes when placing dimensions. And on occasion, insert and delete vertex comes in very handy too. So as always, please try a few more examples of this, rotating in different directions with different objects in different positions.